Hello friends, today we are making this delicious baked barbecue chicken thighs recipe. I hope you enjoy. Okay my friends, I have four chicken thighs here. These are boneless that I have thawed out and patted dry. And I'm just going to add now my choice of oil, which is olive oil. You can add butter, you can add uh, sesame oil if you want that kind of taste, you can add vegetable oil, any oil that you would like. But I'm going to use my olive oil and I'm just going to coat this before we add seasonings. Because what we're going to do is add this in the oven and let it cook some and we want that kind of crispy coating. So I do, I cut off some of the fat here but I like to keep it on to be honest. So. I'm going to get this all moisturized, <laughs> get my chicken moisturized. All right. Then I'm just going to go in with my seasonings. Let me wash my hands. I'm going to start by adding my Creole seasoning. I think I'm going to add this to this recipe. I'm sorry if you hear Layla in the background. If you hear that, that's her chopping down on her food. <laughs> so I'm just going to add this. I do not really measure, but I can kind of estimate and I can add that in, this, in the description box. Okay, I don't want to add too much. All right, I'm going to now add in some garlic powder. I love garlic powder. And then next, of course, we'll add in some onion powder. This is the dynamic duo, the onion powder and garlic powder. <laughs> of course, I have to add my black pepper. You can add as little or as much as you like. I love pepper. And then I'm gonna add some paprika. I'm making a mess over here. And just a little bit for color. And then I think I'm gonna also add my liquid smoke. I love that to add to my chicken because it gives it that kind of barbecue grilled taste. And I'm gonna add quite a bit, not, a, not too much. I would say about a teaspoon, max teaspoon and a half. But I do love this flavor. All right, and I'm just going to mix this all together. And I'll probably go back in and add more seasonings, but add as much or as little as you like. Ooh, that pepper got me. I want this well coated. And in the meantime, I have turned on my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to really cook this on very high heat at first for about... 35 minutes because we want this kind of crispy on the top before we add the barbecue sauce. I think this is enough. Looks good. All right, wash my hands once again and I'll be back. All right, guys. Oh, my oven is heated. You hear that? 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think I'm going to add some parsley flakes. I always love to add parsley to chicken or any of my uh, pork chop or chicken meals. I love parsley, so it makes it so pretty in my opinion. So that's what we're adding. So now I'm gonna place this in the oven at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. Ooh, look at that. It looks good really, just this by itself if you don't wanna add barbecue sauce, but we do in this instance. But doesn't this look amazing? Let me show you. Don't these look beautiful? But we're just gonna move these out. I'm gonna drain this grease. Okay guys, as you can see here, I have drained the grease and this is what we're looking like. And now I am just gonna go in and add my barbecue sauce. Now I like a lot, my husband is a sauce man. He loves anything sauce, especially barbecue sauce. So we'll go pretty generously here. So I'm just gonna, just squeeze this on 
And then we're going to brush it on and I'm going to place it back in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And we're going to cover this too, so you'll see that in the next step. All right, and this is hot, so I have to remember to not touch this. This would be awful. <laughs> But yes, this is our favorite barbecue, just when I make it, you know, in the oven without um, grilling. Now, of course, we love to grill, and spring is almost here, and we'll be doing that a lot, but this is a perfect um, substitution for that um, baked barbecue, or your just barbecue chicken in general. All right, so I'm going to add... A little bit more here. My husband, as I stated, loves sauce. But again, this chicken would have been great just without the sauce. But we are having some baked beans tonight and some potato salad. So that would go perfect with some barbecue. So that's what we're doing. All right. And that's pretty good here. And once this melts in the oven, it'll go underneath the chicken. So I'm not going to really move this too much. I'm just going to place it generously on the top. All right. And then you can always add more, you know, once it comes out of the oven, if you'd like. But that's what we're looking like. So I'm going to place this back in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Oh, forgot, forgot, forgot. That quick. I have to cover it. Is this browned enough? I don't want it to brown too much. So I'm just going to place some foil on top. Ooh, it's hot. And then I'm going to take my knife here and just poke some holes in here so we can breathe some. Okay. And this is now ready to go into the oven. All right. And I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes. It is ready. It's been 25 minutes. And let's take a peek here. This is what we're looking like. It smells so good in here. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to dive in. And here we have it. This is such an easy, easy barbecue chicken thighs recipe. I hope you give it a try. Have a great week and I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.